Hey guys, this is Aaron Lewis, and in today's video, we're actually going to be doing a first of the year bathing video for my two dogs. So we'll be bathing Scarlet and Violet. Now I'll be bathing my miniature poodle first, and then I'll be doing Violet. Now I don't know if it will be fast played or I'll be talking throughout the video, but I guess we'll see. Let's get stuck into cleaning them. Right, so first thing I'm going to be doing is just giving Scarlet down a quick brush with the wire brush here, just to get rid of any mats or anything that she'll have before I start bathing her. Now it is important to know that my poodle takes an extremely long time to bath and brush just because she does have a very thick coat. So if you do own a poodle or you're planning on buying a poodle, just know that they do take a lot of maintenance when it comes to their grooming. You have to brush them daily, probably twice a day actually to stop them matting. And their coats grow extremely fast. So she only got groomed probably I think like a month and a half ago and she's already needing to get groomed again. And it cost over a hundred dollars to get her cut back. So. They're not the cheapest of dog either to keep, just with all the maintenance that they need, but they are definitely one of the smartest dogs you could possibly keep. Yes. Now I'm going to stick her in the basin over here, and we're going to bath her. Now first what I'm doing is just rinsing her off with some water. Now if you're, it's more cold or hot where you live, it'll depend on what your water temperature will be. I just have mine on the cold setting because I live in Australia and it's summer at the moment, so it's actually extremely hot. So it'll be a nice little cool down for her. After you make sure she's all moistened up, I usually just put on the shampoo. Now for my dogs, I use the Aloe Bean Oatmeal Shampoo. It's just because Scarlet has very sensitive skin, so if I use any sort of other shampoo or conditioner, she'll start scratching right after she's had a bath. So you want your dog to be comfortable, so I just buy this. It is a bit more expensive than usual shampoos but I definitely do recommend it if you have a dog with a sensitive coat. Now it's very important that you get in all their little nooks and crannies, so you want to get in their paw pads, around their groin and their butthole, just to get rid of any built up dirt or grind that might be in their fur or on their skin. Now I've never owned a dog that actually likes being bath. Scarlet hates it but hopefully as she gets older she'll just get used to it and actually start enjoying it but I don't really think she likes the water but she likes the water if we go to the beach or something so <laughs> Which is kind of confusing. And you also want to make sure that you avoid their eyes. So just like brush down on their face because you don't want to get the soap in their eyes because as you guys probably know from washing your own hair, the soap burns your eyes. And now as you can see, her coat is a creamy color because it's just got the soap suds all over it and that's what you want it to be. If it's not a creamy color like that, you haven't rubbed it in enough. So now I'm just going to rinse her off and then I will be brushing her teeth before we do the conditioner. Right, now to brush her teeth, I just use the Fresh Breath by Tropic Clean and I just use a toothbrush. Now, she does not a big fan of getting her teeth brushed, so you really have to hold her down but what I do is I usually separate the gums and I stick it in the side and I hold her mouth shut like that. And then I just brush the teeth, like you brush your own teeth really. Then I move on to the front ones. Now it's very important with dogs that you do keep up their dental hygiene because as they get older they can suffer from things like gum disease, which will cost a lot of money if you have to get teeth removed or 
if you had to put them on antibiotics to try and cure them, you might say. So it's very important that you keep up with their dental hygiene. So I brush her teeth once a week, or if I'm not busy too much the week, I'll brush it every second day because I keep it in my bathroom in my ensuite. Right, now I'm just going to start with the conditioner. Once again, it's the aloe bean oatmeal intensive conditioner. So, real quick, quick job. Now you just want a little bit of conditioner, rub it into your hand, and just work it over the whole body real quickly, and then rinse it off, just like that. Right now that that is all done, I'm just going to get the towel and I'm just going to make her shake in the basin here, as she just did, except usually you want to hold the towel up around her so it doesn't go all over your walls. So usually she'll just keep shaking for a bit. She's usually quite a smart dog, she knows the routine, so I just squeeze all her hair so the water falls out before I use a towel on it because they do have a very water absorbing coat. Now for the blow drying bit, I will be having it just fast playing through it all because I will be having my high powered fan on just because it will get really hot in here. And obviously you don't want to overheat your dog or yourself. So I will be having it just fast playing. So this next bit, enjoy. So that is Scarlet all finished up. As you can see, she looks like a fluff ball at the moment just because she does need to be groomed. Good girl. Now I just give her a treat because she was a very good girl throughout that whole, whole process. Now that whole process took me 36 minutes. So that's how long you're going to expect to take to bath and dry down a miniature poodle. Now obviously if you do have a thicker coat on your miniature poodle, it will take longer but that is just something to look forward to when you were grooming your dogs. You don't know, yes. Now, considering this video was extremely long, I'm probably gonna break it up into two parts. So the part one will be bathing Scarlet, the miniature poodle, and now I'm gonna be starting part two, bathing my mulchies, which she's just puppy, so that'll be just be a little quick video. Anyways, guys, that is all for part one of bathing my dogs in the new year. Now, if you guys want to see part two, which will be me bathing my mulchie, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you know when I upload again. Now, make sure you have a good day, and I'll see you guys later.